four, three, two, one. It seems that a lot of the finer things in life are coming out of Switzerland, but you wouldn't think of a high-end firearm being one of those items. Today, we're checking out the Brueger & Thomet APC-9 Pro. With an MSRP of $2,485, that's what you'd expect on a price tag coming out of Switzerland. The original APC was announced in 2011. In March of 2019, B&T released its APC-9 Pro series an improvement with a non-reciprocating charging handle and a replaceable pistol grip, compatible with grips for the AR-15 style rifle family of firearms. The APC-9 Pro features an optional lower receiver, capable of using Glock magazines, which is what you see here. It made perfect sense for me to go with the Glock compatible model. I own quite a few Glocks, and I have a ton of Glock magazines that I can utilize with this. It made no sense to me to pick up a new platform and have to rebuy a bunch of magazines. On March 29th of 2019, B&T was awarded a contract in the U.S. Army Subcompact Weapon Production for its APC 9K submachine gun. The $2.6 million contract included an initial 350 subcompact weapons with an option for additional quantities of up to 1,000 SCWs with slings, manuals, accessories, and spare parts. The APC 9 Pro uses a straight blowback gas system. Unlike your HK, which uses a roller delayed blowback. We're gonna talk about that later, since these two are fairly similar. A lot of people will call the APC the MP5 killer. And I'm starting to veer that way too. Don't get me wrong, I think the MP5 is in a class of its own, but the APC is not far off. The addition of a proprietary hydraulic buffer system in the receiver backplate helps control recoil. More than 50% of the APC's parts are interchangeable between the different platforms. The APC's upper receiver is made from aerospace grade alloy, and the lower receiver, pistol grips, magazine, and buttstock are all made from polymer. One thing that I thought was really cool is that B&T included a set of sights. The APC's mechanical sight is composed of an adjustable ghost ring type rear and a cylindrical sight. Sights can be folded when not in use and will pop out quickly when in use. Just like H&K's MP5, the APC has a tri-lug style barrel that can be equipped with a quick release suppressor or flash hider. About 99% of the time when I'm shooting my APC Pro, I'm using the Silencer Co. Omega 9K. When you talk about great suppressor hosts, the APC 9 Pro is definitely at the top of my list. This thing is insane when you run it suppressed. Not only being quiet, but 100% reliable. I know a lot of firearms have reliability issues when you introduce a suppressor. Not this guy. This thing runs like a freaking ape on steroids. When it comes to the trigger assembly, it's effectively the same as an AR-15 M16 rifle and accepts many aftermarket replacement parts. The entire weapon, including the charging handle, are ambidextrous and can be adjusted based on the operator's needs. Unlike the original APC, the APC-9 Pro has a non-reciprocating charging handle. In all honesty, if this was still a reciprocating charging handle, there's a good chance I wouldn't have purchased it, especially at the $2,500 price point. The APC is a fairly heavy platform. Weighing in at 2.2 pounds, it's not the lightest on the market. You really start to feel that weight when you add other accessories, such as red dots, suppressors, braces, or stocks. A big selling point for me is going to be this three lug barrel. Now here's the kicker. The lockup isn't as tight as my H&K SP5K PDW. I get a little bit of rotational play when I have my suppressor on there. I'm not sure why that is, because I'll use that same mount, the same suppressor on the H&K, and it's extremely tight. You can see the rotational play in this video. Now there is no vertical play, which thank God, because if there was, I wouldn't be running the suppressor. The chances of you getting a baffle strike or an end cap strike go through the roof. While taking that into consideration, I haven't had any issues with running a suppressor on here. 
I've put upwards of a thousand rounds through this firearm suppressed and haven't had one issue, whether it be with reliability, accuracy, or problems with the suppressor. The APC has removable Picatinny sections, which underneath reveal M-Lock. I think that's a brilliant idea. It includes the best of both worlds. Sitting up front is a Cloud Defensive Micro Rain. Cloud Defensive is producing some of my favorite weapon lights. I figured the Micro version would be the perfect fit, and it was. It doesn't take up too much space, it's very user friendly, and it has a great amount of output. Kind of like the CZ Scorpions, the APC has a bigger front end and rail. If you have smaller hands, you might have an issue reaching that pressure pad. My big mitts, I have no problems. If you're looking for a tough and reliable weapon light, I highly suggest that you check out Cloud Defensive. I decided to change out the pistol grip to this Reptilia. Reptilias are one of my favorites, and they fit perfect in my hand. Don't get me wrong, the stock BNT grip was great, but this feels even better. The APC9 does not ship with any brace. You do have the option to purchase your $200 tax stamp and turn this into an SBR. BNT makes a really great side folding stock for that. But to avoid all that bullshit, I decided to go with the SB Tactical Arm Brace, and it works great. In its folded position, this thing is super compact. I can fit it in this Condition 1 case or my Vertex backpack if I decide to go anywhere. When it comes to ease of use of this firearm, I had no issues. With the controls being very similar to an AR-15, you should feel right at home. I think the price point of $2,500 is very modest for what you're getting. You're getting that Swiss made precision, extreme accuracy and reliability. When you take all of that into consideration, $2,500 is not bad. I would pay it again. Just so you know, this firearm was not given to me. I spent my hard earned money on this and I'm damn glad that I did. If you ever get the chance to shoot one of these, I highly recommend that you do it because I can almost guarantee it's gonna leave a big smile plastered on your face. This gun is absolutely a pleasure to shoot. Let's talk about the trigger pull. If you've ever shot the HK MP5s or the SP5Ks, you know that they don't have the best trigger. This APC9 Pro trigger is definitely an upgrade. It has a little bit of take up, but once you clear that take up, you hit a very nice and distinct wall. And from there, you have a nice crisp break. It's not real mushy, there's not a lot of give. I was fairly pleased with the trigger. I don't think I'm gonna be changing it out. I like it just as it is. The reset is nice and short. Not only short, but it is snappy. It resets in the same spot every time and it doesn't leave you guessing. If you have a trained trigger finger, you're gonna be able to rock some rounds with this APC9. Would I consider this an MP5 killer? Yes and no. One of the major pros is that this APC9 has a last round hold open. Unlike the MP5 where you have to strip the mag, rack the charging handle back and flip it to the up position, you don't have to do that with this firearm. At the end of the day, I do think this is a solid contender. Whether it's the MP5 killer or not, that's for you to decide. Guys, as always, thank you for stopping in, stay vigilant, and I will see you next time.